What's up, it's me, Mr. B, and we about to get crazy. I got a banger for you of a build. We're going up against a lockdown. Has really, 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 really good stats. Like 94 perimeter defense, 96 steel. It's a lock. And we're just seeing what our build can do against it. Now you saw that green window. That's a user error, but I still made it. I got bailed out because uh, my stats are pretty high. But yeah, you're going to see some user error here because it's like I'm new to uh, it was my first game and I'm kind of new to uh, the jump meter dunks and this jump shot I'm using. I'm still trying to make this jump shot work because I just think it's so pretty. Uh, I got another jump shot I'm hitting like uh, over 50% with, but um, by th three and you know mid range or whatever. But man, this jump shot's just so pretty. I think, in my opinion, you'll see later. So I get ripped here, but I've been trying to play team ball this whole fucking game, and um, my teammate. Oh, I got bailed out again. But my teammate, on the other hand, is like... He's trying to play team ball, too. He's been selling me, bro. Like, he, he's been missing wide-open mid-range shots and shit. And, uh... He missed a lot, let's just say. So, I just, at one point of this game, as soon as I get the ball, I decide he's not getting the ball back. I'm going to make sure that... I do something. There's a speed boost out into the thing, so I know how to do. My main game is perimeter, anyways. I made this build specific for my playstyle, and I got five rebounds right now. And when you see how much rebound I get, it's like retarded. It's like I'm only getting 60 defensive rebound, but the offensive rebound says zero, but it's alive because it can. Um, one second. It's so deceiving because of, um, like you get Aerial Wizard, right, with this build. So with Aerial Wizard being so high, the actual offensive rebound is better than the defensive. <coughs> but here's how I got these stats right now, and the reason why I got them. The driving layups is 74, so I can get the minimum I think I need to be successful. The driving dunk's 85, which is as high as I can get it for the height and weight and all this, which is good enough. I'm still able to time my uh, my driving um, up-down dunks, you know, precision dunking. 96 standing dunk is ridiculous. And Hall of Fame uh, badges like, um, like precision dunking in that. So it really freaking helps. Then we have the post controls, 85, you get post fade phenom, hall of fame. 93 mid range, it gives you all sorts of uh, different, it, it speaks for itself, it, it can shoot, right? Passing, yeah, 57, it'll give me dimer and uh, post playmaker. And I don't throw a lot of turnovers anyways, I don't think I need a very high pass accuracy. And if you give me the ball with this build, I'm expecting to score, as you've seen that last game. I can take over a game against a lockdown defender. And if I can take over the game against a lockdown defender, then I can take over the game against anybody. And I'm pretty much like that no matter who I play. If you give me the ball, I can't. I'll just score at will if I feel like it. I try to be a team player, though. You saw the 26. Uh, honestly, I could probably get away with the 26 uh, passing with this build. 64 shot will give me a post hook on bronze, which I'm really good at post hooks anyways, and with the badges right, it'll be fine. Then, as you've seen, I ha also had um, the defense, uh, you got a movable enforcer, you get a little bit of uh, rips, a little bit of perimeter defense, the inside game is nuts once I get it upgraded. His physicals are insane, 82 strength, ball, uh, Jumping, uh, his jumping's 82. It, workhorse will be gold. You can't get a better build than this, uh, pretty much, on a, especially on 2v2. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like and subscribe, and comment what you think of the build below. Have a good one.